Yamcha. <coughs> Yamcha, a long time ago, heard about me and discovered that my humanity had been violated. And got together with a group of people known as the Illuminati and attempted to restore my humanity in forms of mind, body, and spirit. Yoncha was associated with this group known as the Illuminati because he was a royal. As you can see here, the Japanese wizard who originally started to put together Dragon Ball and then later a friend of his, Dragon Ball Z, incorporated the red scarf as royalty of some kind that is not otherwise specified. So, this right here appears orange, however, it is actually supposed to be red, but due to translation over here in the United States, the colors were messed up, is my understanding, and all of the oranges that we know in the United States are actually supposed to be reds, as they were originally made in Japan. Though, I can also not prove this because I have not access to information which is disappearing or being changed and altered as of late. But anyway, I wanted to go back to Yamcha. Yamcha uh, decided that he was satisfied with his life and wanted to do good and sacrificed part of his humanity and gave it to me to restore some of mine. He thought me wise. Yamcha, the desert bandit, a royal like some other un otherwise specified characters in Dragon Ball and Dragon Ball Z. Just remember, wherever you see an orange scarf is a real person represented by royalty, if it stems from the original Dragon Ball. So, the reason that Yamcha found me, Goku-san, is because Yamcha is I, Goku-san's godfather of sorts. And that is why I am called Goku's son, very similar to Yamcha, because he is a literal godfather to nobody, son of no one. And through his gracious aid, to me, Goku, and the team, 
it made it so that I was like a royal, even though I was not. In this way, I could be like my people, the people of Cobra. And so, the people of Cobra's commander could be like the original Cobra commander. And in this way, Yamcha aided me, who stands before you, Goku's son. Now, many of you will doubt what I am saying, and this is complex and hard to understand. However, in a way, you may come to a tweaking of your understanding of sorts when you realize that Yamcha and his Wolfang Fist is similar to the kiss of the Cobra. The Kamehameha Wave. This also tells you that Yamcha, the desert bandit here, has certain powers, because he is essentially a royal. And, one of these powers, as I had insinuated earlier, is through his associations with what you would call the Illuminati, certain understandings about wisdom. And, like his grandfather, wanted to bridge and make the world a better place. And deciding in the chaos of mind-erasing technologies and space weapons emerging today, confusion methods and control methods that are not understood by all peoples of the world. He wanted to leave a lineage that was ancient in the hands of someone wise to see what they might do. And so, I, Goku's son, helped to lead my people. And those who aid somebody who is Nobody, son of no one, to lead his people, might be somebody I would recommend to Yamcha that his royal line be associated with. And this ancient wisdom that he was aware of, that I wield, has come up with answers to Yamcha's thoughts on his blessing to Goku's son. Nobody. Son of no one. But remember, Goku's son has crazy hair, just like Yamcha. And so you can learn things about Yamcha. Like now, he dresses like a woman. And, he also was once shy with Bulma, as we all know. That is correct. Bulma and Yamcha, as we all know, 
or once together. And once again. So, in time, if Yamcha is still alive, this may be something that everyone gets to discover in more depth. And it will change the way that the world interacts with itself, I would say. I thought of very special scripts for Yamcha, the Desert Bandit. But ultimately, I left it to this free form talk out. And Yamcha, the Desert Bandit, might find that a story that most of the world is familiar with comes in many variations. And it comes in variations because it can be modified and still be the same story. After all, we only decide what something is or isn't based on the plot points that help us recognize that story. And the story is the story of Allah Din. It is an Arabian story and it has multiple origin points referring to the same exact set of events. And of course, characters such as Jafar and Aladdin. The son of a desert bandit that was estranged in favor of princess. It's a strange story, but we're in it. It bears a remarkable resemblance to Yamcha and what he was trying to do a long time ago with me, Goku's son. And while most of you see Yamcha, the desert bandit, acting strangely, I see the reason why. It is a matter of perception and tweaking your perceptions on one story and considering that it might be a different story being observed in a faraway land by other people as a completely different story. But it's still Yamcha the Desert Bandit. It's what he is. It's what he does. But Yamcha the Desert Bandit is a different person from anyone I've talked about so far. Yamcha, the desert bandit, is Yamcha. I 
and go to the sun. And later on, you understand from learning from Prince Vegeta in Dragon Ball Z, Goku and Goku's son in a retold form as Gohan. But they still tell the story of Goku's son. And Yamcha, the desert bandit, when you don't see Yamcha otherwise specified, because in the future, the wizard and his apprentice had more information about the characters in general, which is why Chi-Chi is depicted as considerably more developed as a princess character equipped with a red scarf. as this is what was originally identified as who a royal was in real life. Because this is what it meant as far as the Japanese wizard knew and codified it as such for all the world to see. And so, if you don't understand that Japanese wizard, or are not a fan of the show, then you do not understand this. I am telling you, that you can identify who these people are in real life if you understand the story of Dragon Ball and Dragon Ball Z later on, understanding what happened in these stories. But Yamcha, the Desert Bandit, is my the person before you in this weird little internet clip As I am to Japan, Goku, son. This is Yamcha the Desert Bandit, the real person, is also here and or alive and did know and have a relationship with Bulma, my first caretaker. I hope you like this free form talking about real people from the Dragon Ball saga. But as I mentioned, I'm not going to go too far into any detail of Dragon Ball Z because Dragon Ball Z is for Prince Vegeta to explain to you his understanding of our story as the say ends for which we say that we are in the story of Dragon Ball and Dragon Ball Z. And a brief message to the real Yamcha, if you are still alive. I hope to one day soon impart an update as to my actions as of recent years. 
leading up to this educational event on the internet. You as I don't necessarily like a number of things that have happened in recent years. But there was a reason for it. Not particularly liked by even myself. After all, I have been confronting one of the most monstrous conspiracies that has ever existed on the face of this earth. And so, with not too many good experiences remembered, and many terrible experiences and people I have encountered, it is hard to always maintain a positive projection into the world if I can't remember the people and good experiences that drive you to do more good experiences. And so, in time, a wisdom can be learned from those negative experiences that we know so well from recent years. And because of the way that I have gone about it, there exists an opportunity to correct many of those misfortunes. And so, if I never see you again, Yamcha, the Desert Bandit, I bid you farewell. And I have gained the wisdom to make the decisions that you might have originally intended. And I do see a very easy way to chart that.